is the filmmaking team behind Israel's submission to the Best International Film category of the 2024 Academy Awards is working on a movie inspired by the true story of an all-female Israel Defense Force tank unit that engaged in combat against Hamas terrorists on October 7th in southern Israel. With us now in studio are filmmaker Ayelet Menachemi, whose feature Seven Blessings won this year's Ophir Prize in Israel, and the one who is meant to direct the new film, and writer-actress Elinor Sela, who will be writing the script here as well. Thank you both for joining. Thank, Thank you. you. Ayelet, the film is inspired by very true events, recent events, uh, regarding the first of its kind all-female tank unit who engaged in fierce battles against Hamas on October 7th. We know what went on on October 7th. There's a lot to be said about that. Tell me more about their story. Well, uh, I think it's a first in history, what they did that day. The fact that they were uh, all-female tank crew, which is by itself a first. And the way they managed to fight for 17 consecutive hours and you fight, you know, kill about 60 terrorists and Hamas fighters and save uh, a whole kibbutz by defending it and doing a lot of other stuff on the way to get to this kibbutz. And it's just, it's amazing. And referring to October 7th, which is uh, maybe one of the most tragic days, if not the most tragic day in, in Israeli history. Um, I think it's a story with a happy end, which is rare. Certainly, it's a story of strength. Um, and is there maybe an anecdote from the, from the evidence, from, from what you've investigated of the story, something you can tell us? Well, we're just starting now to investigate uh, we are just establishing the contact with the actual women that were in those three tanks. And as you can imagine, it's a bit hard because they're fighting at the moment. Oh, wow. And they're commanders as well. So uh, it's just we are in the first, you know, first stages of the research. And uh, anecdotes, I'm sure there will be so <laughs> many. Yeah. But I think what's more uh, interesting in this um, story, it's those women uh, made history twice because they also fought to be a tank, a female tank crew. And um, I think now after this battle, there, there, weren't, there won't be people um, that questioned um, their abilities or the right to be a female tank crew. People who doubt, yeah. because maybe our audience doesn't know, but many times women are doubted, especially female soldiers, yeah. uh, that they cannot or that, that, that they can't function as well as the men or, or shouldn't be put in certain situations. Yeah. If, even before, a few days before this war, that they still doubt about their abilities, about their right, um, about the, how, how they can do it with, uh, with the men soldiers near them. Um, so I think uh, this is a very interesting and, and complex story. It's not, about, uh, it's not just about heroic story. And certainly they've proved that wrong yeah, in, this, in, definitely. in this story. And, um, definitely. Elinor, you're writing the script. Will you be acting as well? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about this film because uh, they are young, um, but you know, um, for me writing is, is a holy job, so I don't think um, about this um, from the beginning, but if it's, it's, go it's going to happen, if I will uh, find something interesting, uh, so of course I will, I will be happy to um, to act like I did in Seven Blessings, uh, the role of Irit. And we know that that movie certainly um, uh, won the Ophir Prize in Israel and is nominated for the Academy Awards. Yeah, so. 10 and Ophir Prize. Well, we, we were... Uh, Amazing. Congratulations for that. Thank, thank you. Thank we're you. Looking, for, uh, looking out for Thursday, which is the announcement of the shortlist, so please. Yeah, crossing, crossing our fingers yeah, for Yeah, and you know they are going to announce 
to have we we are going to have an announcement with the name of the country, not with the name of the film. They are going to say, I hope Israel, mm -hmm. and we want to hear it so much. I think the people in Israel need this hope. Um, this this what I think we are fighting for for culture, for hope, for for a better life here. We need an, uh, a cultural win, yeah, as well as a military win. Yeah, and there's nothing like art to bring forth um, those kind of feelings of uh, of unity and of and, and and of victory. Exactly. Yeah, so and especially with one. with a film like Seven Blessings, that is full of um, humanity and um, you know um, acceptance. Yeah, and forgiveness and compassion. <laughs> Amazing. We wish you good luck with that. Thank and you. Regarding this new film about the tank unit, the female tank unit, I'm specifically <laughs> stressing the female part. When do you plan to film this um, this this feature, this new feature? Um, it's it's going to be filmed on autumn uh, 2024, but you know, Israel. Is, <laughs> yeah, it's who knows crazy. what yeah, happens it's a crazy until then? To, but. This is what we wish to, to do. So You know, uh, we wouldn't dare uh, deal with the subject uh, without getting a proper perspective first, yeah. uh, which is something that is, is very essential to making anything, any artistical uh, uh, project like that on something that just happened. Mm -hmm. But since uh, the, the, that special story started and ended, uh, on, the, on the 7th of October, uh, I think we, we do dare in, in this instance to, uh, to deal with it so quickly. And of course, the, the thing we wish most is to deeply connect with the real women that were fighting there and hear their story and feel uh, their, uh, you know, their zest. And, and this will be our starting point. Well. You got me intrigued. I want to watch it. <laughs> so hopefully it won't take you too long to write it, film it, and uh, put it out there. Um, so there are so many stories of females around this war, be it fighters, female fighters, be it the female hostages, the, the women, the mothers uh, who were taken into captivity with their children, all the women from the Nova Dance Festival, really so many heroines. So I'm really sure. happy to hear that you're covering at least part of all of this. Thank you very much to Thank both you. of you, Ayelet and Elino. Thank you very much.